Good morning, Life Spring. Pastor John here with this week's Devo. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I have been able to sit down and do a Devo like this, and so appreciate your patience, but I wanted to take a couple of moments this morning and just share a couple of things that the Lord has uh, put on my heart. Uh, the first scripture that I want to share with you comes from the Old Testament book of Isaiah, chapter number 54. And God's talking about the restoration of Israel. He's also talking through this chapter about heaven itself. But this is what uh, the scripture says in Isaiah chapter number 54, verse number 17. It says this, No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me declares the Lord. You know, as I read that verse of scripture, I, I get excited. We've been talking about the foundations of our relationship with the Lord on our Sunday morning uh, services and specifically talking about prayer. Uh, once we get into February, we'll start talking about a new foundation. Uh, but the first one that we've been talking about is this idea of prayer and how important prayer is. In this past Sunday, we talked about spiritual warfare. And, and boy, spiritual warfare is prevalent. It is happening all around us. And we need to make sure, church, that we are aware of what is happening in the spiritual realm. Now, we can't always understand specifically what's happening, but happening. But we must understand that there are battles taking place in the heavenlies. And so as I read this portion of scripture, this verse of scripture from Isaiah, when God is speaking to Israel, he says, no weapon formed against you will prevail. And, and that made me think about Ephesians chapter number six, when um, Paul writes to the church and says, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against darkness, against principalities, against the evil forces of this world. Listen, there's an enemy out there roaming around, seeking whom he may devour. And so there is a, a, a battle in the spiritual realm. When you and I ask Christ into our heart, we willingly, although some of us unknowingly, we willingly stepped into this spiritual realm where battle takes place. And so the enemy is roaring. He is seeking whom he may devour. He is going after and trying to disrupt, kill, destroy anything that we will allow him to. And so I want to encourage you today, stand firm on God's word. Stand firm in God's righteousness. Stand firm on what he says. Listen, we can't get distracted by what we see. We can't get distracted by what we listen to or what we watch in the media. We can't get distracted by those things because those things are meant to draw us away from God's word. They're meant to draw us away from the truth of God's word. Should we be informed? Yes. But we need to be careful when being informed crosses the line into becoming obsessed and becoming bogged down. Because listen, that's a spiritual battle. Everything really that we face in our life is a spiritual battle and we have to be careful. Now I want to read another quick portion of scripture to you. And it's just over one chapter in the book of Isaiah chapter number 55. And God says this, My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. And I share that verse of scripture with you this morning for this reason. Today's inauguration day. Today, our nation is going to inaugurate a new president. And I want to encourage you with this, not a political post, not a political post. But listen, I want to encourage you with this. You, most of you have been faithful to pray for the president for the last four years. As believers, we're not called to love the policies. We're not called to love the stance, but we are called to love the individual and we're called to pray. And so I want to encourage you, whether you are happy because a new president is being elected, whether you are distraught and you are discouraged and you are downcast because we're electing a new president, as believers, it is our job to hold that office up in prayer. Pray that God would do a work. Pray that God would get a man, hold, hold of uh, the president's heart, because listen, every president needs Jesus. And so we need to pray for our president as he is... Uh, sworn into office this morning and we need to uphold him in prayer as he goes out these goes through these first hours 
days and weeks of the presidency. And listen, there might be things that come from his office that we do not agree with. We are going to stand on God's word, not the president's word. And I don't care who the president is. I don't care if the former president had been reelected. I don't care if there's a new president. In that, we're not called to worship the president. We're called to worship Jesus. And we'll support our leaders by holding them up in prayer. So will you join me in prayer? We're going to take a moment and pray right now uh, for each one of you uh, in the spiritual battles that you might be facing. And we're also going to take a moment to uphold our nation and our new president in prayer because he needs our prayer. And as believers, we're called to pray for those in authority over us. Uh, remember this as we get ready to go to prayer. This is not our home. The scripture teaches us in Hebrews that we are passing through. And so whatever happens here, uh, the Bible already tells us is not going to be good. But you and I have our eyes fixed on a future hope, a future glory, and that's heaven uh, with God Almighty. But while we're here, we're called to pray. We're called to live. We're called to go. We're called to serve. We're called to worship. We're called to connect with each other. And so we need to do that like the scripture has commanded us to do. Pray with me, please. Father, thank you for today. And I thank you, Lord, that while there is an enemy raging, while there is an enemy who's roaring, while there is an enemy who is seeking whom he may devour, we serve a God who's greater. We serve a God who's bigger. We serve a God who is more powerful. And so, Father, thank you. Today, I declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, I declare today that uh, those that are watching this video will stand on your word today. Father, that they will not be pulled to the left or to the right. Uh, it is not about left and right. It is about Jesus Christ. It is about the word of God. And so, Father, I just pray today that whatever battles uh, those, might, those folks may be going through, in Jesus' name, Father, give them the victory. Give them the answer. Give them the direction that they are seeking. And, Father, be glorified through that process. And, Lord, today we lift up our nation. <clears throat> Excuse me as we inaugurate a new president. And Father, we lift up our new president to you. We ask you, Lord, that you would uh, help him as he transitions into this office. We ask you, Lord, that you would make yourself known to him in a real way. We know he's a religious man. We know that he attends church often. But Father, I don't know if he knows you as Lord and Savior. And so Father, today, if he doesn't, would you in a very real way make your self known to him. Draw him unto yourself, Father, and bring him to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Be with him as he leads and as he guides our country. And Father, we just ask that you would uphold his cabinet, his uh, those that are serving around him, and our leaders who have been elected uh, to serve us in the federal government. So Father, we just ask you to be with our country today. Be with our outgoing president. And Father, we just ask you, Lord, to let your blessing rest upon him. Lord, thank you for those who have been able to connect with me here today. We ask you, Lord, that you would just go with them, lead, guide, and direct them in all that they say and all that they do, and help their light for Christ shine bright wherever they go today. We'll give you thanks and praise for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in today. We pray that all is well. We trust that you're doing well. <clears throat> excuse me, and we hope to connect with you soon. God bless you. Have a great day.